This is an Arduino. They're basically microcontrollers that are really easy to use. I've used these a lot in my past projects, and believe me when I tell you, they are the best thing since sliced bread. But I believe that every now and then, you should challenge yourself to build the most out of the least. In my opinion, this is the best, and often the funnest, way to learn. So today we're going back to basics, using only commonly found household objects and scrap electronics to turn these regular pair of prescription glasses into some self-cleaning spectacles. Welcome to... The Lab. Also known as my basement. I usually don't film down here because most of the time it's a mess, and as you can see, the lighting is terrible. However, Thomas Reed from the comments section requested that I show more of the building process in my videos. Ask and you shall receive, Thomas Reed. Of course I want to make the best content for my 27 subscribers, so for the next few shots, I've strapped a shop light on my back in an attempt to make the lighting at least a little bit better. Okay, so this is the circuit I built for the glasses. It has two DC motors, two LEDs along with a couple of resistors to ensure that no magic smoke comes out, a switch to control the LEDs, and a push button to control the motors. The circuit will be powered by three AAA 1.5 volt batteries. Here's a picture of the circuit if you're interested in building it yourself. As you can see, the motors are responsive and the LEDs turn on and off without releasing any magic smoke. Pretty much everything on the circuit is wired in parallel, which is why I've used a breadboard for prototyping. And while a breadboard isn't completely necessary, it is handy when it comes to organizing your components. So to replace the breadboard, I'll be using aluminum foil and note paper. Now all we have to do is fit this on a pair of glasses. Ladies and gentlemen, it's done. Let's go spray some water on it. Okay, moment of truth. And they don't work at all. The LEDs though are actually kind of good. They work quite well and I can see exactly what I want to look at. It's kind of funny how the last minute addition works better than the main function of the gadget. Hello there. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like, or even subscribe. In fact, I dare you to do both. And if you have any suggestions for the next build, leave a comment below. Until next time, my friends.